Good day everyone, welcome to my channel and in, in this tutorial video guys, we will create a program that will ask the user to give two numbers and then our program will perform add, subtract, multiply, divide of the two given numbers by the user. Another thing that the program will do is that when the user will give a negative number, either of the two first or second value, the program will end. If not, the, the program will continue running. Before we start, I would like to say thank you so much to all my viewers, supporters, and subscribers in my channel. If you are new with my channel and then you like this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to share and please support my channel guys by clicking the subscribe button. Shout out to Sir Erniel Marsmalo and Ma'am Robelin. If you want to be shout out in my channel, can you leave your comment in the comment section of this video and then put shout out. I would like also to thank my, my friend Tom who is also my fellow software engineer who gave me some ideas no, in creating this program. Thank you very much Tom no, for your technical assistance. Tom is a C in C++ uh, programmer also. He is one of our contributors in my channel so I am very thankful for Tom no, for always, always there no, to help me out. Okay, so we have here 38 lines of code, no? So, I will put a link in the video description where you can download the complete source code for free. One, do, one of my subscribers leave a comment that how to terminate a program using negative number. So, the problem is the, pro, the user will give two numbers and then our program will perform addition, subtract, multiply, divide. And then, if the first value or either of the two second value the user will put negative number our program will terminate it no so that is the difference no so we have here sharp include io stream so when you are working with c++ programming language the io stream is one of the most basic library file for input output so without this one you cannot use console out command or console in in your program Using namespace std, it is the standard, no? When we are using basic commands in C++. Int main, it is a function. It is the first function that our C++ compiler execute and also terminated when, uh, when we are already through, no? Uh, using our program. So, line number 7, left curly bracket, begin or the beginning of the body of our program. So, here we have the title of our program, add, subtract, multiply, and divide of two numbers in C++. No? Console out, new line to new line. Now, here, very interesting line of code here, line number 11. While through, we are creating an infinite loop, no? through boolean, begin. Uh, enter first value negative to quit cn num1 no so in num1 we declare if num1 less than 0 meaning it is a negative number it will get out in our, in our while loop statement break the same thing with the second number no enter second number negative to quit in num2 cn num2 if num2 less than 0 again break it will get out in our loop statement and then in this line of code from line number 25 to 28 we do addition sum equals num1 plus num2 int difference so int means integer it can only accept positive negative including zero whole number does not have any decimal places num1 minus num2 in product num1 multiply by num2 quotient in quotient equals num1 slash or divide num2 and then we have here the display the sum of num1 in num2 is num is sum the difference of num1 in num2 is difference the product of num num1 in num2 is product the quotient of num1 in num2 is quotient and then end of program new line which informs the user the program has not been ended and then we close our while loop statement this line of code is the uh, close of the while loop statement and then close of our main function okay the program is not 
difficult to understand no? so let us compile and run so that we can demonstrate how the program works okay in my C++ environment our program is now running add subtract multiply and divide of two numbers in C++ enter first value let's see 6 second value let's say 2 so the sum of 6 and 2 is 8 the difference of 6 and 2 is 4 the product of 6 and 2 is 12 the quotient of 6 and 2 is 3 enter first value let's say we have 100 and then the second value we will put negative number negative 6 as you can see the program is terminated automatically no? so let us run again by this time the first value will be negative ok run enter first value let's say negative 6 our program will be terminated but if we are running our program and then we just put positive values our program will continue running see it will continue as until we don't want to work on our program so negative 2 terminated Okay guys, so this is the end of our tutorial video on add, subtract, multiply, and divide of two numbers in C++ with uh, Sentinel. No? If we want to put negative number, a program will terminate it. I will put a link in the video description where you can download the complete source code for free in my two websites. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope that you have learned something new in this tutorial video. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to share and please support my channel guys by clicking the subscribe button. See you in the next video tutorial guys. This is your friend Jake saying bye bye for now.